Welcome back. Those who serve our country are top of mind right now, and many who become ill or injured end up at the Honor House in New Westminster. Andrew McPherson is finding out how wearing a simple shell casing around your wrist can provide some extra support. Safe, serene, and welcoming. And after almost eight years of operation, there have been over 6,000 stays here free of charge thanks to generous donations, which is a huge relief to those who find themselves needing help. Um, we're innocent victims of a shooting that took place, and we've been in hospital ever since. Day to day, first responders, ambulance, and so on, uh, we are, seem to be givers and not receivers. Um, we don't receive well, or at least I don't. So to have someone step up and go, hey, this is a place for you to come and do whatever you need to do for as long as you need to do it is, is fantastic. And that's why Canadian Armed Forces member Kelsey Sharon wanted to step up and help with these one-of-a-kind pieces she's created, which have actually helped her begin to heal. I was on a patrol and we had lost a few few people and um, some other traumatic things happen where it ended up causing me to have a severe post-traumatic stress disorder. The 28-year-old was deployed to Afghanistan in 2009, badly injured and released in 2011. Really just wanted something to do again to give me a purpose, to give me something to look forward to, something to really just um, bring myself out of kind of the darkness I was in. That's how Brass and Unity was born. The jewelry line uses real shell casings as much more than a statement. She's also had a ton of celebrity endorsements. But her message remains clear. These aren't just shell casings. These are something that people have practiced with to go and fight in a war to protect you. Proceeds go towards helping various organizations, including this one. You can get all the details at honorhouse.ca. For City News in Vancouver, I'm Andrea McPherson.